Well, Peter here. I'm replacing a uh, filter capacitor in a Collins 51J2. The, here is the filter capacitor, the bottom of it, and you can see the keyway is broken right off. Somebody got a little rough with it when they probably turned the turned the receiver upside down. The 51 the 51 series Collins is a big re big receiver, very heavy, and I'm guessing somebody just uh, got a little bit too rambunctious and uh, and or tried to uh, get it out of there and somehow uh, did the wrong thing. So anyway, what I've done is. I've cut it up. I've cut the uh, bottom off, and uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to replace it. This is a uh, the bottom of a of a vacuum tube here with a keyway all in there. And I so what I'm doing is I've I've glued on a uh, a piece of aluminum strip to so that the uh, so that the uh, so I can get that in here a little bit and show you so that this will fit right over. So uh, so uh, so anyway, that is still this part is still drying. I used a uh, urethane glue uh, to uh, bond the little aluminum strip to give to give me the extra width we need so we get a good tight fit for the can part and. Uh, there's the uh, there's the glue there, and then I also made a and we're stuffing new capacitors in there. So uh, in this case, there's there's uh, this is going to be a 30 uh, microfarad. That'll be the, uh, the the first capacitor. Then the second capacitor is a 47 mic, which is this one. So uh, then I made this little cap to go over to insulate it. So uh, back again. Well, we've completed the capacitor rebuild here. You can see uh, came up came up pretty good. Uh, the pins are all soldered in and and all that. It's nice and nice and solid now. Nothing uh, nothing. Mechanically uh, uh, bad with it per se, or or unstructurally sound. So it's uh, I think it's I think it came up quite well. So the key, of course, this one this one has the key. Hooray! <laughs> the other the the other part, of course, the other key was broken right off, and the whole thing was loose in the socket. So so it was good, and plus it was good to to replace the capacitors in it. Uh, it could have, we could have used the reforming process, but I'm not a big fan of reforming. I, I would much rather just replace the capacitors, put modern, modern capacitors in there. So, so, uh, so pretty happy with it. So there you go. That's the story there. We'll, uh, we're going to we're going to plug this in here when we complete the electronics on the radio. Currently, I'm, I'm uh, going through the electronics. I've just re finished replacing the remaining uh, the a bunch of uh, uh, old foil type caps, uh, you know, Black Beauty types. So uh, now, if you want to do go this method, uh, you know, like I think I mentioned in the earlier video. Uh, take an old, take an old tube, old octal tube. They make, they come in a couple of different sizes. This is the smaller one, and I believe this this was a 12L6. Uh, should be similar to the you know 6L6 and that sort of thing. Uh, but it's a smaller one. There's, there's a slightly larger base ver ver version of this. So this is the smaller one. Now one caution, and that is, uh, make sure you. Get one that that has the uh, that has the the correct pins that are needed for your radio. And this one, in this particular case, it had three connections. It had pins one, three, and five on on this uh, on this on this can. So 
So this can, it was just uh, one and three and five. But so if you do use a uh, new base, uh, then uh, then just make sure you have you you do have the correct pins for it. In in terms of of taking an old dead tube, and uh, what I do is I usually put a little acetone in in there to uh, loosen loosen things up with a glass. Then I take a desoldering machine and I and I uh, and I and I suck all the solder out out of the uh, connections, so so all the connections are all clear. And then the and then you can pull the tube right right out of the socket. So now I happen to have a desoldering machine here. Not everybody has that. You could you could do it also with a with a handheld uh, desoldering tool. Uh, it could, it's just a little bit easier with a machine that's got a vac that's got a vacuum pump in it. So, so there you go. That's the story here. We're pretty happy uh, happy with how this came out and uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm I'm not real pleased with the foil I put on there, but but yeah, it's not perfect, but it's strong. Going to do the trick. And actually, this sets inside down inside the radio anyway so you, you you wouldn't even see it so so there you go that is the story on the 51J filter capacitor okay well here we are back again well we've completed the capacitor Rebuild here. You can see uh, came up came up pretty good. Uh, the pins are all soldered in and and all that. It's nice and nice and solid now. Nothing uh, nothing mechanically uh, uh, bad with it per se or or unstructurally sound. So it's uh, I think it's. I think it came up quite well. So the key, of course, this one, this one has the key. Hooray! <laughs> the other, the the other part, of course, the other key was broken right off, and the whole thing was loose in the socket. So, so it was good, and plus it was good to to replace the capacitors in it. Uh, it could have, we could have used the reforming process, but. I'm not a big fan of reforming. I, I would much rather just replace the capacitors, put modern modern capacitors in there. So, so, uh, so, pretty happy with it. So there you go. That's the story there. We'll uh, we're gonna we're gonna plug this in here when we complete the electronics on the radio. Currently, I'm I'm uh, going through the electronics. I've just re finished replacing the remaining uh, the. A bunch of uh, uh, old foil type caps, uh, you know, Black Beauty types. So uh, now, if you want to do go this method, uh, you know, like I think I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, take an old, take an old tube, old octal tube. They make they come in a couple of different sizes. This is the smaller one, and I believe this this was a 12L6. Uh, should be similar to the you know six L six and that sort of thing, uh, but it's a smaller one. There's, there's a slightly larger base ver ver version of this, so this is the smaller one. Now one caution, and that is, uh, make sure you get one that that has the uh, that has the the correct pins that are needed for your radio. And this one, in this particular case, it had three connections. It had pins one. Three and five on on this uh, on this on this can, so so this can, it was just uh, one and three and five. But uh, so if you do use a uh, new base, uh, then uh, then just make sure you have you you do have the correct pins for it. In in terms of of taking an old dead tube, and uh, what I do is I usually Put a little acetone in, in there to uh, loosen loosen things up with a glass. Then I take a desoldering machine and I and I uh, and I and I suck all the solder 
out, out of the uh, connections so so all the connections are all clear and then the and then you can pull the tube right right out of the socket so now I happen to have a desoldering machine here not everybody has that you could you could do it also with a with a handheld uh, desoldering tool uh, it could, it's just a little bit easier with a machine that's got a vac that's got a vacuum pump in it so so there you go that's the story here we're pretty happy uh, happy with how this came out and uh, uh, Etc. Etc. I'm I'm not real pleased with the foil I put on there, but but yeah, it's not perfect, but it's strong, going to do the trick. And actually, this sets inside, down inside the radio anyway, so you 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 wouldn't even see it. So, so there you go. That is the story on the 51J filter capacitor.